Hey, so let's chit chat really quick. I want to talk about the Witch of Endor in this impromptu video. So the Witch of Endor is this very obscure, demure, hidden gem in the Bible. It is a character in the Bible, okay? And I will tell you that growing up, I can remember maybe one time that this character was even addressed, all right? And then after that one time, no one ever talked about the Witch of Endor. Now, if you grew up in religion like I did, you know, what did we always hear? Oh, well, witch, magic, it was all dumped into this one bucket of evil and it was all called demonic witchcraft, right? But that character never left my consciousness. I was always so fascinated by her. And one of the things that stood out to me was, you know, witches and magic, it was called evil, but it was always talked about. And I thought, okay, if something is so bad, why are we talking about it? You would think that if something is so bad, you just leave it alone and ignore it but you know those that scripture that talks about you know don't suffer a witch to live and really which was put in there that in there that was not the original word that is not the original um uh meaning of that scripture but that's a, another video another time for another time so let's stay focused on the witch of endor so the Witch of Endor was a person that, well, first of all, let's talk about what a witch really is. To me, a witch is not what we have been programmed to believe a witch is, okay? To me, what I have found in my practice after navigating you know life after religious programming and dogma and indoctrinate indoctrination a witch is a person who has said i am choosing to walk in my sovereignty i am choosing to walk in my power i am choosing to walk in my divinity i am choosing to accept that i am a deity walking on this physical plane and i am choosing to use my power in love, in peace, in joy to call and command what I desire to call and command my life on earth as it is in heaven. Where is heaven? In my consciousness, in your consciousness. Okay? So to me, that is what a witch is. A witch is a person that walks in their sovereignty. All right? So this witch of Endor saw... There was a character, Saul, who was looking for guidance from his mentor that had died, a mentor by the name, we'll, we'll call him, I'm calling him a mentor, his name, uh, another character in the Bible named Samuel. Samuel died, okay? Saul needed some direction. He didn't know what to do. Now, he calls upon, or he's asking, you know, I need guidance, and he's looking for this witch of Endor. I'm going to call her a prophetess, a necromancer, okay, a magician, an alchemist. But before he did that, before he went to see this powerful woman, guess what he does? He has eliminated, he has told all the, the people in the city to eliminate anything that would represent a witch, anything that would represent magic, anything that would represent any type of spirituality, get rid of it. Okay? This is what he ordered to take place in the area that he lived in, right? So I'm bringing that up because I'm, I'm going to get back to that point. So as he's eliminated, as this, this stuff, this, we'll call it this magical stuff is eliminated. He is asking around for this witch of Endor. 
he finally goes to see her someone I can't remember if he if someone took him to see her or he found out where she was by himself whatever it doesn't matter the point is he went to go see this witch all right and he tells this witch you know I'm trying to get in contact I'm trying to conjure the spirit of my mentor the spirit of Samuel the witch of Endor says okay I can do it <laughs> and she did it okay and Saul got whatever type of guidance he needed whatever if you want to go read the rest of the story you can but we'll stop there so I want to say this first to me the witch of Endor is a representation of the Sybil prophetesses of Mami Wata. If you're not familiar with the Sybils, go research it yourself. I may get into it on in other videos, but not this one because I'm going to make this short. But to me, based on what I've known, based on what I have come into, the knowledge that I've come into, that's how I see the witch of Endor. But anyway, so that's the first thing. Number two, it was popular for Saul, or it could have been anybody, to get rid of anything that represented any type of ancient spiritual practice, any type of magic, any type of sorcery, any type of metaphysics, any type of the occult. It was popular for him to do away with that, just like it's popular in this day, in 2024. It's popular for people to, to denounce ancient indigenous practices. It is popular for people to denounce, for example, traditional African spiritual practices. It is popular for people to denounce magic. It is popular for people to talk bad, to talk in a negative way about witches. It is popular for people to denounce the use of tarot. It is popular for people to denounce mediumship. It is popular for people to denounce necromancy. It is popular for people to denounce metaphysics. It is popular for people to denounce the occult. All right? That's what is popular to do. And we see it all the time. Yet, as we have seen with Saul, there's a lot of Sauls in the world. Okay? Male and female. They're telling you to denounce that. But yet... They are, some are disguising themselves, some think they're disguising themselves, but yet, you know, behind closed doors, they are stepping into the very thing that they are denouncing, that they are telling you to stay away from. So why am I bringing this up? Because I want to tell you to be like the witch of Endor. Be confident in your spiritual science. Her spiritual science, part of it was necromancy. Whatever your spiritual science is, it could be that, could be mediumship, you could be a seer, an oracle. Whatever your spiritual science is, be confident in it and stand in it and embrace it. If you are watching this, and you have been navigating your life after religious indoctrination and dogma. You can no longer be afraid of your sovereignty. You can no longer be afraid of the very thing that your soul is calling you toward. If your soul is calling you toward ancient indigenous practices then that's what you need to do. 
the more you try to resist that, the more turmoil and the more chaos you are going to feel in your body. As you let me tell you this, the first time that I went into a metaphysical store where there were crystals, was there fear going into the store right next to me on my shoulder? Yes. But I made a decision and I had to remind myself, well, why was I told that this was so evil in the first place? Why? And then I had to accept that that fear did not belong to me. I didn't come into this life being afraid of my own spiritual science. That fear was given to me, just like the fear is given to you to be afraid of your own spiritual science. It is not yours, but you don't have to ignore it. Acknowledge that it is there. And then you make a decision as a sovereign being to step over it and step into your alchemy. That's why this channel is called Unleashed Alchemy. Unleash yourself and be free. Be like the witch of indoor. Walk in your magic in confidence. Complete confidence. All right, so that's the message that I wanted to give you today. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments. Also remember this, I offer one-on-one -on -one services to help you navigate your life after spiritual programming and dogma so that you can step into your spiritual science, into your spiritual technology, so that you can command your life on earth as it is in heaven, which is in your consciousness. All right, and until next time, cheers.